Hi, my name is Rob Gilpatrick. I'm a video salesperson here at TechServe, and welcome to another one of our tech tips. People often wonder if you can put 10 pounds of dirt in a five pound sack. Now, normally this is true, you can't, but you can in the video world. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. You might be aware that you can buy a video capture card for use in your Mac computer. These capture cards have a variety of in and out ports that allow you to hook up your Mac to different video devices, such as TV sets, camcorders, or decks. Some of these cards have analog in and out ports, like S-Video, RCA Composite, and Component Video. Other capture cards have digital in and out ports, such as SDI and HDSDI, which are more robust and high quality methods of carrying high def video. But there's a new kid on the block, and that's HDMI. HDMI stands for High Def Multimedia Interface. And when you see one, it looks like a squashed USB plug. Why is HDMI important? It gives you an inexpensive way to move uncompressed high def to and from devices. HDMI was made to hook playback devices into flat screen plasma displays, like you might buy at Circuit City or Best Buy. Many of these flat screen TVs come with HDMI inputs, allowing them to receive high quality video signals. But in the last six months, companies like Blackmagic and AJA have come out with video capture cards with HDMI ports on them, causing a host of new developments. Say for example, you bought a new HD camcorder. If your camcorder has only Firewire, you will have to capture your video in a very compressed state into your Mac. But if your camcorder has HDMI outputs on it, you can capture that video directly into your desktop Mac via HDMI. How is this cool? It allows you to shoot cheap, but edit expensive. Does an HDMI card cost a lot? Nope, TechServe sells one from Blackmagic called the Intensity Card for 350 bucks. This will give you very good results for a low cost. So when someone says you can't put 10 pounds of dirt into a five pound sack, tell them to go to TechServe.